Hello everyone, welcome to another day in the car. I'm Jules. We have some developments in the case of Sincere and Classic, also known as Orin and Orson, the little boys that were reported missing by their adoptive parents back on December 21st in California City, California, which is in Kern County, as is Bakersfield, which is 70 miles or so away from California City and is the place where the boys were born, where the family lived before they moved to California City, etc. And Bakersfield has taken over as lead investigators and a lot's happened since then. There's apparently been a search warrant served on the property that belongs to Trezel West, the adoptive dad's parents, and possibly his sister, who has the same name as the mother, uh, may have been questioned. I'm not sure on those things. The things that I can tell you for sure happened was that today on Pacheco and Cottonwood Road, which are near to the Casa Loma apartments. Kern County Search and Rescue went out with more than 50 Bakersfield police officers and FBI agents to search the grounds. They also brought canines. As far as if any items of evidentiary value were located, I can't get into specifics. There was a big search conducted by 50 or so Kern County search and rescue personnel, the Bakersfield Police Department, and the FBI. The boys have not been located and there has been no arrests made. And they cannot comment on any evidence that was found. The biological family was on scene. This is an area that they had investigated earlier. Multiple times actually. Um, I'm not sure if the search that we did was as wide as the law enforcement did. Um, but we did attempt to come out here in a few areas around here. Um, and the biological family says that they'll stay out of the way of law enforcement, but they're going to remain vigilant. The biological family are the ones that uh, worked with others to raise the money to put up the billboards and to get out banners, etc., to keep the boys' faces out there. For the public to see and please share this video as well and when you see flyers about the boys on facebook please share those um rosanna wills is the biological cousin of orin and orson also known as sincere and classic and laura vasquez was also there and i guess they're friends and they've both organized multiple search parties for our boys and we want everyone to stay vigilant out there and keep your eyes and ears open and now it's time for us to kind of set back and and let them do their job because they have the manpower they have the resources i really believe that they they are getting close i really believe it um please if you had any contact with the boys whether it's just seeing them or if you had interactions with them over the past year Please get in touch with Bakersfield Police Department. They want that information. And even if you think somebody else has told them, please uh, give them your insight as well. They really need to you know, go backwards on this case, work backwards, and then move forward from there. They need to have a whole history of the kids, uh, who they've had interactions with, who they've had contact with. If you've seen anything that might be suspicious or anything, they just need to know a lot more about the makeup of their lives and what their lives look like. And I am going to continue praying for these little babies. And you know, just earlier this week, there was this big development where 150 kids have been rescued by law enforcement in Tennessee and you know it's just amazing there are so many missing kids and it's just great that law enforcement is being able to go and rescue them I'm hoping that's gonna be the case with these babies too and also 
I know that there's been demonstrations and there's been um, a movement to call for reform of the Child Protective Services in Kern County. I think that we all should look at our local agencies as well, no matter where we are in the world and see what we can do to make life better for children. Make sure that they're safe. I mean, these kids, all the little kids in the world, they need looking after and they need people to care and step forward and say, hey, you know, this isn't right. Kids need to be treated like children, not like, I don't know, a commodity. So keep that in mind, too. That's one of the things you can do and do it in honor of these babies. And also keep your prayers going up for these kids. And these boys will be found. They will be brought home. And I'll keep you posted when anything else of value becomes known. And like I said... The boys were not found in that search, and that's good news to me. And they can't comment on whether there was any evidence found. There's been numerous interviews, numerous search warrants, and that will continue uh, until we know what happened. And once again, the representative for Bakersfield Police Department has called out again for whoever has seen or heard from the children in the past year, please bring your information forward. You can stay anonymous. They just need to know more about the kids' lives. Anyone that has information on the boys, including past contacts, that is first-hand information, we want to hear it. We want to know about their lives. We want to know about everything that can help us bring the boys home. Come on, tell, tell me. They will be found. 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 They still have hope, you know, and that's how we're going to keep it. If you know anything, anything, just to, you know, bring closure, closure to the story, the situation, you can come anonymous. Just come forward, man, because, you know, a lot of people are, are hurting behind the boys missing, people that didn't even know the boys are hurting, um, and we would love for just you to come forward. A miracle's gonna take place, amen? amen. I said a miracle's gonna take place. Yeah. Yeah. We have to stay strong for, you know, the, the parents, the mother and them, and um, the community's been doing their part, like in a major way, so it's like without them, we, we, we will be lost. All you guys that are praying and um, keeping hope alive and, you know, helping, offering for, you know, to do whatever you can to help us. And um, we just thank you guys all from, you know, every city and state, you know, just keep praying, you know, the prayer is powerful. So let's just keep praying and keep hope alive. Somebody know something. Amen. Amen. And so it's time for those individuals that know something, any little detail. Thank you for watching Another Day in the Car with Jules.